Hey guys, Wayne here. Thanks for the likes on my previous video on my HEQ5 rebuild. I've had a few questions about specifically aligning the gears and eliminating the gear noise that you experience by using a, a factory stock standard HEQ5. Those gear noises are specifically made inside this cover here. You have a stepper motor, a tensioner gear and the gear that is connected to your worm gear. The backlash on that is what causes that noise to be made. And I recommend to anyone who buys this stock standard from the factory, first thing you do is align those gears. It's simple, it's straightforward and all you need are the basic tools. So the video to follow is going to show you how to do it. Quick and easy, you could probably do this in about five minutes. Maybe take a little bit longer if it's your first time, but after that you should be able to do it quickly. So here we go. Right, so the tools you're going to need Allen key set, star screwdriver, some people call them a Phillips, and a flat. First we're going to start by taking the cover off. The declination gears and the right ascension gears sit here and on the inside of this cover. So, typically, and this is more or less what I found when I first opened this mount straight from the factory, as you can see and hear how loose that gear is. That loose gear is what causes your major backlash and also the gear noise when starting and stopping the slewing on this. Set your max slew speed, you start this mount up, it makes a big grinding noise, you stop it ends that grinding noise again at the end. So step by step, here's what we're going to do. Loosen slightly all these little allen key bolts here on the side. For me, personally, my own experience, how I like to do it, I loosen all of them. I take the sliding plate and just slightly push it over. Just a little bit, you don't want to force it. And then feel how the gears feel. I've got a nice smooth turn there just by that minute adjustment. It's not as stiff as this one. This one I've preset already to a setting that I like it. So it feels a bit better, but I still think it's a bit loose. Right, so the first screws that we tighten now are the Allen keys, the ones with the washer around. Because now we know that this gear and this gear are aligned with each other. There's no play, there's no backlash between the two. The next one is you move your stepper motor a bit closer, this gear, a little bit closer to this one on here. So the stepper motor is fastened by these three screws here. You'll see they don't have an Allen key or a washer around. So you do the same process. Just slightly nudge it at the bottom while it's loose. Feel that everything's nice and tight. And then just tighten them up. Not too tight. You don't want to strip anything on your stepper motors or any of these gears. And there we go. Simple as that. Alright, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching the video till the end. If you liked the video, found it instructive, please hit like and please hit subscribe. I'd like to have 5,000 subscribers on my channel. Don't know why, just feels like a good number. Thank you very much.